The literature is clearly pointing towards some people that have depression and anxiety have increased sensation to pain. Now, everybody has pain. Uh, if we slap ourselves, or if we sprain an ankle, or if we got a bad shoulder, that's pain. But people that may have anxiety and depression seem to have a greater accentuation of that pain. So if I sprain an ankle, ouch, it hurts and I recover. If somebody with depression gets pain, they may keep that pain. It may make them feel more depressed. It may make them feel even worse. What can that person do? Well, number one, you have to have a real association with your doctor, but there are some things that you can do. Number one is exercise. It just sounds like if I'm hurting, I can't exercise. Almost every doctor that works with the chronic pain will tell you, you've got to do a little bit more and you've got to increase it and you've got to increase that activity and you just have to do it. And it may be walking across the room and then walking to the kitchen and then walking out to get the paper and it may be doing some other type of exercises with a ball or going to a gym, but you've got to exercise. Hypnosis is very good with pain. Hypnosis, uh, if somebody's having a, a short-term surgery, uh, delivering a baby, a episiotomy, appendectomy, uh, having a lesion taken off the skin, hypnosis can greatly decrease the pain and increase recovery time. Yoga, meditation, mind relaxing type entities help people that pain dominates your life. If I had chronic pain and knew that it was changing my life, I would see a registered medical physician that specialized in pain. I'll have to do a show on pain because they have so much to offer. If you can stay away from those pain pills, they can get you hooked and can make things worse.